Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about how much migraines and IIH impact my life. So before I get into any more details, time for the intro. Now, another thing I want to get into is that being in pain makes people really difficult to be around. For those of you who don't have these two conditions, just imagine yourself on a day when you have a cold and how grumpy you can get, or even the flu where you have muscle aches. And that is temporary. Just imagine having that all of the time and the fact that now this is why people with chronic pain can often be snappy, can often be grumpy, is because pain is really hard on you emotionally. It's really frustrating. Also, chronic pain becomes exhausting after a while because you've been dealing with it for so long. You're just sick and tired of dealing with it. You don't want to deal with it anymore. We cannot plan our lives around when we have migraines. Personally, I may have a better idea of when I might have migraines, such as during my period or when the weather's changing, such as change in seasons. I d can't actually predict when a migraine attack is going to start. And these actually are even less predictable now that sometimes a migraine haps happens and sometimes it doesn't because of my preventative medications. It's not like you can just say, well, I know I'm gonna be attack free on Friday, so let's go ahead and plan something there. If reality is just not like that. You have to say, okay, I, for right now, sure, I can meet you at Friday at 7 p.m. at this place, however, I have to be honest with you, I may have to cancel it last minute if I happen to be dealing with a migraine. But please keep in mind that if people are doing this, they're not doing this because they don't want to go. It's because they're in a lot of pain and unable to function. As I've said before, it's worse for us to go when we're feeling bad because we're going to be grumpy with you. We're not going to be the same person that you're used to dealing with when we're having a okay or good day. And it's just not good on the relationship to having to deal with us in that moment. At least that's true for me. I'm sure there are exceptions to this where people actually do have moments where they'd like to be with a partner or some of that, whether it's just doing something quietly together even during these moments. But I'm not in that position, so I can't say for sure. When it comes to making plans too, I constantly worry that I'm not gonna be able to go and I'm gonna end up disappointing you and that's gonna put further strain on our, on our relationship. So I don't know the best way to actually deal with this type of stuff because it's hard. It's very difficult actually to really plan around these types of things because you, it's hard to learn how to manage this part of living with migraines. I still haven't figured it out. I'm still not really that far into living with migraines. I don't have the best answer for this yet. I'm still learning this myself. So I think it's just a matter of trial and error and figuring out something that does work and having patience on both sides of the relationship of whatever that might be, whether it's a friend or a partner, all of that. I just don't think that the ideal thing can be said to somebody because everybody's situation is gonna be a little bit different in this case. I know for me, one of the most frustrating things has been the delay and the worry around jobs in particular and with careers. So for people who can work, there's this constant worry that you're gonna have to quit, but for the people who can't work, there's this well, if I do get a job, am I gonna be able 
to maintain that job? And what happens when I do have my first migraine attack? Are they gonna be accepting of the fact that I have this condition? Or am I gonna be judged for the fact of when I have to be called in? I know that's something that constantly runs through my mind as well because that's the position I'm in right now. I'd really like to be able to be working and I'd really like to be able to have a career at this point, but it scares me because everything would depend on how many good days I have. And guaranteed when I introduce work in, there's gonna be stress that comes along with that. And it does concern me. It's not concerning me to the point where it completely scares me away, but it's definitely something that's on my mind every time that issue comes up. Now, also too, when it comes to careers, you may be scared to advance or you may be unable to advance because you're not able to take education to advance. I know for me, I've had to completely reconsider my career plans. At one point, I actually wanted to be a medical lab technician and I had actually been accepted into a program and then that program decided to change the way they accepted applicants. So I decided to really evaluate whether I'd be able to handle the job or not. And based upon my calculation, my answer was no. This was extremely hard for me to accept, but my answer to this is, well, it's not right now, but maybe in a couple of years it will be okay. And that's another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind who are kind of at the same position where I am. It's never too late to go on to education at any point. You could be in your 40s or 50s and decide that you want to pursue education. It's never too late. And so with me in particular, it was an emotional decision because it's something I honestly would love to do because it would combine two of my favorite things, which is learning about medicine and being able to use my biochemistry degree at the same time. However, in all fairness to whoever would be employing me, I wouldn't likely be functioning at the top of my level. I think there would be some things that would be particularly difficult, such as switching between shifts and all of that. And all of that weighed into my calculation and my answer to that was no, which is why I didn't reapply to the program when it changed the way that they accepted applicants because I decided, no, this probably isn't the best thing for me to do at this time. If you're enjoying my content, please feel free to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. It just allows us to reach more people with IIH and migraines. When you're subscribing, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming future content. If you enjoyed this particular video, be sure to give it a like. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.